All right, guys, we're working on the bugle, placing the front springs and struts. We already replaced the other side. Now Corey's got this side all taken apart already, almost. We didn't get any footage of the other side yesterday because it was freezing ass cold. Looks like he's taking the brake caliber off. We're gonna drop the control on and hopefully get the spring in there. You guys probably can't see, but yeah, you can't see. But new spring and stroke. Now normally, if someone had a lift, this would go a lot easier, but we don't. We got some little jack stands and a bunch of jacks, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we're going to do it. We don't have a spring compressor. Yeah, we're using a crowbar yep. and whatever leverage we can get, but it worked out. Yep, we luckily got the last one in there, so. About to come down. And for the record, we just got off work like 30 minutes ago from a 10 hour day. Yep. And boy, I knocked this out in like maybe 30 minutes. Got it all the way taken apart. Well, that wasn't the hard part. <laughs> Who needs them? Who needs them? Alright. I should probably shift this. Now, this is not a how to video. This is By just, any means. Yep, we're just showing you how we did it. Oh, and by the way, I seriously have new rotors upstairs. These are not important. Alright. Spring still has some pressure on it. Let me get the crowbar. What do you got going on in here? Couple videos down the line, we'll probably be replacing ball joints, ball joints and well, all kinds of shit on this thing. And watch out! Oh yeah! And this is why I'm replacing them. Looks like they were cut with a plasma cutter, and then it was seriously. You guys probably saw it in the last video if you watched that. This thing was dumped like six inches in the front, five in the back. And anytime you hit a bump, it was like, we had a frame bang all the way down the road. Yeah, when you buy a low car, put it on the lift. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I gotta go upstairs and get the new shit. Yep. All right, this is how we're putting the coil in. Wedge this a little bit up while he held the spring in place and also held the rotor because I didn't want to take the bottom out because I didn't want to take it all the way out and we're using a crowbar to pry that back and then we're hitting the corner of the coil spring with a hammer and then it eventually pops into the bucket and then you can just lift it up with your jack old school spring compressors right here yeah <laughs> don't need no ratchet straps no nothing to untangle or anything like that just gotta manhandle it <laughs> starting to get dark so Apologize for it being dark, but for we, those of you who doubted us <laughs> that we could not get a spring in there with a hammer and a crowbar, turns out we didn't even need the crowbar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just a little bit of finagling, but it's in there. We're about to put this all back together, and then it will be sitting on the ground with all new springs and shocks. Yeah. And then the next video coming up for this, and I know I'm doing Buick stuff back to back, but CRV stuff. He's my witness. It's gonna be happening because his my shit's at his dad's house. Yeah, so. it's in my driveway. And yeah. It needs to get out before some type of some month. Yeah, yeah, April. April. So, but yeah, it'll be on the ground, on the suspension. The next video will be front brakes, back brakes, and trying to find 
what is causing this to misfire or if it's something more serious we don't know yet but it's getting dark we'll put the post back together and then i'll get back to you hopefully once we're going around the block because i want to see what it feels like even though it's kind of misfiring who really cares hopefully you'll see that and hopefully you'll see me do a one wheel pee peel in my el camino oh yeah in the elky <laughs> one wheel peel all right last time you guys saw me i was tearing apart the suspension as you can see the shiny bolt right there and it's gonna be hard to see the coil but I'll make it happen right up there in the bucket so we're sitting on new shocks new springs all the way around and new sway bar end links so it rides a lot better and then also I was talking to you guys about it having a misfire and we figured that out it ended up being this little hose right here that was just capped off and this hose runs from the distributor so as soon as I hooked that up it ran perfect and we were able to time it and everything runs good so pretty cool to have all its power and not being like flaking out or anything like that so so that's done motors running good all the suspensions good the brakes are still upstairs haven't done those but I ended up just started tackling the the radio and everything so the radio is finally hooked up right I've got the top speakers working and I do have the cover for this up here but it's cracked I'm gonna fix it so so I got that front speakers are working and then I found out in the back they had some wires ran but I ended up running new wires so they work so now I'll have all four speakers working in the cab, but I don't know what Polk Audio is. It does seem like a nice speaker, but these are both blown, so I took them out of the skins on the side of the doors, and I'm going to go replace them with some speakers real quick. And then that way all the speakers will be good, all, you know, the stereo will be fine, and then we will go ahead and tackle the brakes after that, so... Yeah, I'll uh, hopefully get back to you guys when I got most of the shit put back together. Okay, finally, all the wiring is finalized and halfway tucked away. <laughs> Let's just say that, it was a mess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and loom all these and then put the cover back on top. And I'll hide most of that. And then I think I'm going to get, I used to be a big sub guy back in the day, you know teenager high school stuff like that but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get like a small 10 inch up there just to get a little bit of bump since this is just gonna be a cruiser so it's gonna be doing that but got the door cards well I'm gonna call these back door cards even though it's not a card to a door it's to the fake door <laughs> but got these all taken out got the old speakers out gonna go to Best Buy and buy new ones right now but all the wiring is ran for the back speakers like I said got the head unit all figured out to where it doesn't go in and out and front speakers are linked up and also if anyone's having this sort of a problem when they buy any old junk or anything like that okay so I'd start the car I'd turn my headlights on okay start driving and everything would start dimming out like the head unit would click off after being at like volume 22 and everything on the inside would just feel like it was going to shut off and I was like super worried about it and then I'm looking at my truck and I'm looking over here and we figured out that it needed a body ground too it did not have a body ground just a chassis ground and as soon as I did that this thing started working great all the electrical stuff started working right. My my fans started kicking on when they were supposed to. And so really excited about that. And then went ahead and just threw a new battery in. But yeah, so we're going to go pick up some new speakers and then go on a little bit of a ride along, hopefully, before it gets dark. But the car's really starting to come a long way in the month that I've had it. So really kind of stoked about it. But we're going to go get those speakers and then get back. 
You wanna go to Best Buy and get some speakers? What? You wanna go to Best Buy and get some speakers? Yeah. Get some food too? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna go do that. Alright, I just got back from Walmart real quick. Just went ahead and picked up some, you know, decent little cheap speakers. I'm not too big of like an audio guy, but so picked those up. I'm gonna put those in the rear door cards and then just went ahead and bought a little like it was 60 bucks with the box and the sub. So I went and bought a little sub box to put in there just to get a little bump going on. A little dual cheap. So but it looks pretty nice. I like the little red insert. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the speakers put in the rear door cards and get this box put together all right the wiring is finalized I went and picked up some speakers like I showed you man look at that interior clean seriously the reason I bought this thing installed clean installed clean I mean, now, both speakers are working, those speakers are working, head units wired up correctly, it doesn't short out or anything, it holds power really good, so, yeah. We are now going to put together the sub and throw the sub in. Out of this whole interior, I'm so devastated about that hole. You guys have no idea. I guess someone else tried to put an RPM gauge there and shot some screws through some foam and didn't hold. So that's why I ended up putting mine down here because it's, it's a little bit more out of the way too. But really devastated about that. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and put that sub together and throw it in the trunk and see if the beat bumps. All right, this is proof that the misfire is taken care of. Idling perfect. Doesn't it doesn't have that like violent shake that the motor was having. And it revs up really good. My fan relays work now since I did that body ground. Got the speakers mounted and installed working. So the whole entire radio works, everything, and then just went ahead and threw a cheap sub in and it does work, so definitely going to be doing more with subs in this car than just that that was just a test and now that i have this extra sub i'll probably put it in my other daily that's coming after i trade that van so you guys will see that but good day on the buick got all the audio done all the audio stuff taken care of so now the next buick video then that'll be tackling the brakes i was supposed to do that on this one but just decided not to Wanted to do something a little bit more fun. So, speakers are done. Car's running great. So, a lot more Buick stuff to come. But I'm going to go for a ride, enjoy the rest of my Sunday, and then get up for work. Y'all have a good one. Comment, subscribe, do what you got to do.